All right, so last week I posted a video called two planning center hacks you need to know. And in that video, I talked about the importance of uploading your lyrics and chords into the lyrics and chords feature on planning center. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here and in the description down below so you can go check that out. But in that video, I also talked about how I don't prefer using song select chord charts. I don't like the way they look and I need a little more flexibility when it comes to formatting. Now my church has a premium song select account, but most of the time I get my chord charts from praisecharts.com and I walk you through all of that in that other video. But since then I've learned that Song Select now offers Chord Pro for your chord charts. Now I have no idea how long this has been an option and some of you may be watching this thinking, Jimmy, this is old news, we already know this. But I just found out and so I figured there's a group of you out there who didn't know that this was a feature either. And that's the reason I wanted to make this video, but that's not the only reason. I also wanted to walk you step by step through the process. Because for some reason it can be difficult to download the Chord Pro from the Song Select website in order to get it into play planning center, but I figured out how to do it. So in this quick tip Tuesday video, I'm going to walk you through step by step showing you exactly what to do. So stick around. All right, so let's go get our Chord Pro from Song Select. But I will say before we get started that you will need to have the premium subscription in order to have this option. Looking at the pricing page here, you can see that premium is the only one that allows Chord Pro downloads. So the question is, is should you upgrade from either the free or the advanced subscription to premium? Is it worth it for you? So as I do the math, the difference is about $41 a year. And so I was thinking if you're downloading chord charts and you're paying for them somewhere else and you pay for more than about 16 songs a year, then this option might be worth considering. But one more thing to consider when we look at the bottom of the page, we can see this little double asterisk here that says Chord Pro available for many popular titles. So you need to take that into account when you're making your decision. What songs will you be singing? Are they the popular songs that they are offering Chord Pro for or not? Just some things to think about. All right, so here's how to get your file. We're gonna go look for the new song called In the Hands of My King by Austin Stone Worship. Here it is right here. You click the chords button. Now you wanna go to this download tab. When you click on it, you can download the PDF like normal, which we don't wanna do. Or you can click Chord Pro, which we do wanna do. Then it'll ask you to save it to your desktop or wherever you wanna save it. Let's just save it there. All right, so now we've downloaded this file, but there's the second problem that we need to overcome is it's very difficult to open this file extension for some reason. It's .cho. When you go to click on it, it says there is no application set to open this document. What you need to do is choose an application and go down to text edit, open. Once you do that, you can highlight everything and copy and paste into the lyrics and chords feature on Planning Center just like we did last week. Now, that'll work if you're a Mac user, but if you're not, if it doesn't work or you run a PC, I figured I would give you a second option, and that is to use the website filext.com. And I will link all this below so it's real easy for you. If you go here, it explains what the CHO files are, and you can drag and drop it right here. So let's go do that. And there it is, we have our Chord Pro that we can now copy and paste into Planning Center. We did it. All right, well that wraps up this week's Quick Tip Tuesday video. Now I know this video was very specific to those who had these particular subscriptions, but hopefully uh, you can make a decision on whether you need to upgrade or not. Or if you were like me and you already had these subscriptions and you weren't using them to their full potential, now you can do so. If you did find this video helpful, please hit the like button down below. Leave a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Also, please feel free to share this video and last week's if you feel like it will help somebody. As always, thank you for subscribing to this channel. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.